like this doll even in the stuck condition. Its dark brown hair is okay except this parting line and its face looks adorable from any angles. I think this doll deserves its price. I found this dried bottle like Marcier doll. Anyway, I tried to figure out how to make it more realistic and decided to go for an unenthusiastic or annoyed look with green eyes. I spent much time correcting my sketch that is well, which turned out long in the end. Unlike previous repaints, I blurred its lip line and didn't apply any gloss to deliver a matte finish of the tinted gradient. Hmm, I like this olive green eyes. I added a bit of contouring only onto the nose area and around the eyes to make it look like sugar's milky white skin. There have been questions about the timing of spraying. Luckily speaking, I sprayed a sealant about every 30 minutes. There is no correct answer, but you can use it whenever you feel the surface doesn't take pastels and pencils anymore. Use a hair dryer for faster drying. It takes about 10 minutes until the sealant dries up, but it depends on the temperature and humidity. Start from slight contouring and blushing, and build them in multiple layers using the spray in between. I think it's done, let's get dressed. Hold on, aren't these eyes too far apart? And it's obvious, the eye shape isn't like Yoongi's. I don't understand why I didn't let myself overlook this point. I gotta fix this, but this time it's gonna be a partial cover-up without wiping her out. By the way, have you heard of that? When people draw or build a figure, it tends to be reminiscent of themselves in a way. For example, slow-eyed people are likely to make cat-like characters. And in my case, my eyes are small and a bit wide apart, so I always find myself painting a doll with these features even when it's not supposed to be so. Now it's getting more like Yungi. Having covered the green eyes with black and thicker layers, I don't know why, but it seems less attractive than before. Hmm. Instead of doing all over again, I will let her go for a styling change into Augusty wearing a bandana. Many of you left comments about changing this doll's hairstyle, so I searched several ways to do that. Considering that I'm not skilled enough at rerouting nor making a yarn wig, I guess the easiest way for me now is buying wigs. Besides, in this way, I'll be able to exchange the wigs among the members. It would've been better if I had plucked out the existing hair before repainting, but I didn't, so I first cut it lawfully with the scissors and then shave it short. I think this tonsured head now looks very cute on him. His scarf got scratched while being shaved, but it's okay, it'll be covered. And I'll get him wear this ring as a piercing. I used a gimli to bore holes. Putting the hooks into the holes wasn't easy, but I'm happy that they really fit him. I bought this wig for about $10, and this bandana is what I made with black hanbok fabric. It's made of synthetic mohair, and it's for 4 to 5 inch heads. Our BTS dolls are 4.8 inch around their heads. Okay, now put the wig on him and see where the bandana should be and how short you will cut the hair. Both shaving and haircut took me over an hour for your reference. He 
his new clothes and match his new hairstyle. This red hoodie is originally for taller action figures, but I think it'll do when it comes to a hip-hop star over this size. Finally, put him on hairspray. And now, let's bring Lil Miu Miu to my new photo studio. Right. 